Uh, this is question number three on page 160 you state that the more you travel the smaller the world yourself and your thoughts become does this mean your suffering has ultimately shrunk in significance as well um certainly uh, certainly the world seems like a smaller place when you've when you've been around it a few times you realize just how um how easy it is to go around the entire world and um and you also i guess your, it's more your your ego shrinks. You become less egocentric or self-centered. You don't think you're the center of the planet anymore. You just realize how small you are inside of this this planet. So in one sense, you feel you know the world shrinks and you shrink. So the world becomes bigger with your place in it. It's a kind of a it's difficult to explain, um, but it expands your your thoughts, expands the way you think about. Um, the world and our planet and when you realize how connected everything is and how connected all of us are and how similar we all are uh, everything just you know stupid petty things shrink I think the 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 the, the little day-to-day -day things that you know you feel so get annoyed about or feel angry about or it's just harder to get pissed off <laughs> I mean you know it's uh, your your view of life I'm sorry if I'm mumbling I just my my I have a difficulty to explain how it affects you mentally but it does in a in the way that um it humbles you as a, a human and and just makes you makes you realize that everything is is connected so yeah your suffering shrinks because you realize that for as much as you, as bad as you think you have it, there are so many people who have it worse, and you can't quantify people's pain, obviously, and you can't, you know, say that your pain is more than another, your suffering is more than another, but everybody suffers, it's the human condition, that's life, and each person's suffering is, is a testament to their own journey, or their own path that they have to follow, and so, yes, I guess it puts your own suffering into perspective, rather than shrinking the significance of it because your suffering is not insignificant it teaches you something it it grows your spirit it grows you as a as a person as a human in empathy and understanding um so it's not insignificant but it it puts it into a different perspective let's just say uh did you begin this journey with any expectations of how it would impact you Oftentimes when people take on major challenges, they have an end goal in sight. At what point did you realize that your journey was helping in the healing process? I, I certainly left with the expectation of that I had to somehow find a way to heal from, from the deep pain I was experiencing emotionally. And I guess my, my point of the journey was just to either come back better or not to come back. So... Um, it was probably a different expectation than most people have when they take on a challenge. It wasn't really wasn't about the end goal being, I'm going to get around the world and make a record. It was more about, um, I've got to find a way to move on and and find a way to keep going in life and find a new passion. So I think by the halfway point is when I started to want to get back and started like, wow, I can do this. I can actually make it around the world. And um, and instead of feeling the emotional pain, I was starting to have more highs than lows and um, started to really enjoy all of it and started to want more and see more. And I wanted, you know, it awoke my my desire, my hunger for, for life again. And so I think from the halfway point, I started to realize that I was getting better and better. And by the end, I was certainly, um, yeah, I would say I was healed because, you know, I... I, w I was ready to, to go on and do more and continue uh, in this great game called life. So, uh, yeah.